Hey, uh, we had a, a chance for you to get some training uh, in some of the training sessions, but I made these videos just in case you didn't have an opportunity to make it there, or perhaps you wanted a refresher. The first refresher is going to be about next gen basics. Um, on your next gen screen, there are a couple of things that I want to go over with you. One is called sources. And in the control room screen, when you click on the sources dialog, they can either embed and show up below your um, control room screen, or they can float, which is another window all by themselves. But the idea is that the sources are uh, specific to each station. So for instance, source one is the music playing from the computers in the back to KTUX, or whatever station it may be. So that's always the, the computer in the back. Source one in every control room is the computer in the back playing the commercials, always the commercials, and music or whatever other uh, content that the station will be playing per that station. Source 2 in every control room is the control board. If you ever want to play anything through the board, whether that's a remote, a phone call, live, uh, any kind of whiz button bar stuff, all that comes through source 2 here. And then the other sources break out into different sources per station. So for instance, uh, 99Xs has a Premier, and then a Max receiver, and then a couple other things. Sources on Keel look a little bit different, and I'll show that to you. It has multiple sources. See how there's three different rows of eight? Well, the A serve right now is in source one because it's playing the headlines, which is a local element played from the computer in back. After it gets done, it's going to go to the premier receiver, which is source 210. Now, Keel is, uh, if you'll notice, one, two, one, three, one, four. Well, then A serve um, is one, one. Then the second row is two, 210, 211, 212. And of course, it's in, it's in eights. Uh, the next thing I wanted to go over with you is macros. And macros are in the log screen a lot of the times. You'll see them in the control room too, but I'm going to go over them with you in the log screen really quick. In the logs, you'll see a macro, and it looks something like this. And I choose Keel because it uses a lot of macros in its stuff. A macro, the word macro literally means big, and does multiple things at a time. And if you ever want to find out what one does, right click on it and click display macro info. And then you'll notice it does a couple of things. It changes the mode. It does a shift change. It puts a default source in. It turns sources off and turns our fill off. So for instance, and it also makes sure that the source on that it turns on is 210 Premier. Now the default source is what is returned after a spot block plays. The spot block command starts the dominoes going and it only stops whenever either you manually stop it or the end of block command in the log plays. The end of block command tells it to go back to whatever the default source is. So remember, if our commercials play from A serve one, which they're playing now, and we'll watch this, okay? Right now it's playing those sources. And if you'll notice, it's actually white down here. What's active is red and white is the default source. So when it hits this end of block command in the log, it will actually return to that satellite source, which is what we want it to do in this particular instance. Now, for a music station, we want the default source to be the A serve, because we want it to continue to play that music on that station. In the log screen, we prefer that you actually make your edits um, in the log, unless you're ejecting commercials. If you're ejecting or deleting commercials, we, we expect you to make those in the control room screen so you actually have a little bit of an evidence of what happened. And for instance, if you eject a commercial but you don't remember which one it was, if you do it in the control room screen, not the log, the log will actually show you which one you ejected and you can go back and retrieve it should you need to. Lastly, for next gen issues, if you do have an issue, make sure you escalate that properly. The first thing you do is call your upline supervisor or brand manager, which would be either Chris Evans or the brand manager for the station that you're on. The second thing is that you always follow up. You make sure that not only did you uh, follow up with the brand manager and do whatever they ask you to do, but also send an email, especially if it's regarding spots or commercials. Uh, you want to send one to the director of sales. You want to send one to the brand manager of that station. You want to send one to me in case it was a, a technical issue. And you also want to copy um, Aaron Bristol, the operations manager, on anything that happened over the weekend or perhaps overnight shifts that we may need to be known about that way our phones, you know, if we get a, I point to my phone here, if we get a couple of voicemails first thing in the morning, we know exactly what they're about. Perhaps a phone call from a listener saying, hey, we had a problem. Well, we know how to address that a little bit better because we're more informed. And all of that is 
part of your you know, gig here. You need to make sure that we're more informed and you can solve the problems a little bit quicker too. Not only that, when you escalate things that way, uh, that means that I don't get every phone call that comes through, but that the brand manager is also notified and the director of sales and the operations manager as necessary. Make sure those are followed pretty much to the T. That way we keep uh, things down to a minimum and as streamlined and, and answers quick to you as, as fast as we can. Of course, if you have any questions about the log, macros, next gen, you can always hit the F1 key on the screen. And the cool thing about that is it brings up the next gen help guide. You can actually read anything in there about how things work. Uh, audio inputs or perhaps auto mode. What does that mean? Well, if you just double click on it in here, it tells you it's for unattended playback of the station log and it runs like dominoes. You can actually read more about anything in here by hitting the F1 key and finding out more things. And don't forget to share them with your other folks that work with you, like us. Thanks so much for listening. I appreciate you paying attention and look forward to helping you out with some more videos.